Burim Kodra is the managing director of the public water utility of a medium-sized town with a crumbling water distribution and sanitation system. Today, Mr. Kodra seeks to balance the company's finances by reducing the non-revenue water. That is, the water that has been produced but is lost before it reaches the customer. Currently, Mr. Kodra's utility bills its customers for only 40% of water it produces. Approximately 30% of the water is lost to the ground through leaking or broken pipes. Another 30% is lost because many customers are not registered and so do not receive bills, or because water is taken illegally from the network. Mr. Kodra knows that he needs to reduce these water losses to ensure a sustainable municipal water service. Mirjeta Lumani lives in a medium-sized town where only every second customer pays their water bills. Ms. Lumani's experience with the water company has not been good. She never knows when or for how long the water will run, and on average, this is only 11 hours a day. The water quality is poor, and so Ms. Lumani boils the water her children drink. She is not against paying for her water if these deficits are put right, but is also not sure that the money she pays might go towards the local politician's vacation. Today, Miss Lumani has received a notice from the water company that a new meter will be installed at her home and that her household will be billed according to its consumption. Even if the water supply does not improve immediately, a fair and transparent approach to customers will help to build their confidence. 